Welcome back to another show of Golf Tips. I'm your host and teaching professional, Gary Bauer. On today's show, we'll again visit Indian Springs Golf Club, a beautiful course to play in Mechanicsburg, Ohio. We'll be right back. Thanks for watching. Before we get started, I would like to introduce Anna Kell. Hi, Anna. Hi, Gary. She is the manager for Dave Kell Chevrolet in Mechanicsburg, Ohio, and they are underwriting today's TV show. Anna, tell us a little bit about Dave Kell Chevrolet. We are a family-owned dealership. We're located in Mechanicsburg, mm -hmm. Ohio. We've been here since 1981. Um, we have the largest selection of Silverados in the area. We're one of the top Silverado dealers in the state of Ohio. We also have a large selection of pre-owned and certified vehicles that you can view on our website, DaveKellChevrolet.com, or come see us on Route 4 in Mechanicsburg. Well, that is fantastic. Thank you so Thank much. You, and we'll be right back with more golf tips. On this first segment of today's show, I have a junior golfer and his name's Caden. Hey, Caden, how are you, buddy? Good, how about you? Good, fine, thanks, okay. Caden, how old are you, first of all? Um, I'm 11 years old. You're 11 years old, okay, and how long have you been playing golf? Um, I started about last year in the summertime, so about a year. About a year, that's very good, okay, not bad. And when you go out and play nine holes of golf, what do you uh, usually shoot? About 65. 65, that's not bad for just starting out, okay. And uh, what's your favorite club in your bag? Uh, I like the three wood and the seven iron. Three wood and the seven iron. Okay, I think you got a seven iron. You're going to hit yep. some seven iron shots today? Yep. All right, now what I'm going to do, Kane's going to hit some shots, and I'm going to critique his golf swing, and we'll make some little adjustments here and there. So the first thing I want Kane to do, first thing I want you to do is take some practice swings and aim out there towards that red flag, okay? Okay. All right. Right up here, right up here by this. There you go. Okay, have you been topping the ball any? Sometimes. Sometimes, okay. So when you hit a bad shot, where does it go? Do you top it the most or do you slice it? Uh, I usually just top it. Top it, okay. All right, let's see some practice swings. Oh. That's okay. Let's see a couple more here. All right, one more. Okay, and on those last two practice swings, uh, Caden didn't hit the grass. And I always tell my students, when you do take a practice swing, try to nick that grass because that old ball is going to be sitting on the grass. So you want to get the club head up under the ball and get that ball in the air, okay? okay? All right, now let me see you hit a shot here. Let's see what we got. Now, first thing I would do, I would check to see if his feet are shoulder width for balance. He's got his hands under his chin. His grip looks real good. That was absolutely perfect. That was a good seven iron there, buddy. All right, let's see another practice swing. Once you take one practice swing, I tell my students, try to take one practice swing before every shot, okay? Very good, you nick the grass. Ball position's off the middle, that's pretty good. Okay, a little thin, okay, that one went a little low. Now what you actually did, and again, Caden is a left-handed golfer. On the downswing, his right shoulder pulled up a little bit. You want to try to keep your shoulders a little bit more level as you turn through the shot, okay? See, I'm a right-handed golfer, so if I pull my left shoulder up, I'm going to top it or hit it low. Oh, take another practice swing. Try to nick that old grass. Very good. Grip is good. Okay, a little thin again, so he hit a little low. So on the downswing, his right shoulder, your right shoulder is coming up a little bit. So you want to turn those shoulders. So as you come through the shot, you being a left-handed golfer, you want to turn through it, okay? Right on around. Your right shoulder will, will pivot, okay? Let me see a practice swing. Try to nick that old grass. Pretty good. Setup is there. Now, Caden, play that ball a little bit more off the middle. There you go. Okay, now he hit behind. He hit a little bit fatter, heavy, and, and sometimes we do that. So on the downswing, he dropped his left shoulder, which drops the club too soon, and we hit it fatter, heavy. So our shoulders were rocking up and down versus turning, staying level, okay? okay? Yeah, and I think people ask me, 
Now, I've been a golf pro almost 34 years, and people say, why do I do that? Well, I think they're trying to help the ball up, so you need to keep your shoulders more level, and you just turn. And you, with you, your hands will come around by your right shoulder, right ear, as you follow through, okay. through the shot, okay? See that practice swing. Oh, take another one. Got to nick that old grass. Okay, let's see what we got here. So his feet are shoulder width for balance. His hands are below his chin. His grip looks very good. Beautiful. Not bad at all. A little bit there to the right, but that's okay. Got it in the air. Distance was good. So the four through the nine iron, Caden, you want to play that ball a little bit more towards the middle of your stance. And your distance from the golf ball, your hands are right under your chin, club head and back of the ball, and that gives you the proper distance from the golf ball. That was absolutely perfect. Caden, that looked like me if I was a left-handed golfer. Mm. Pretty good. Setup is there. Beautiful. Hands faced around by his right shoulder, right ear. Okay, that was a shank almost, yeah. Now what actually happened is on the downswing, when you came down, you don't feel it because the swing happened so quick. He actually pulled his arms in towards his body just a little bit so that the ball hit on the toe of the club and shot over there to the left, okay? So we gotta keep our balance. Balance is crucial. You wanna get up under that ball. See that practice swing. Very good. Oh, a little heavy. Yep, so what happened, you dropped that left shoulder again, okay? So we wanna keep the shoulders level and turn, all right? Oh, take another one. Now try to nick that old grass. So his feet are shoulder width for balance. Hands are under his chin, clubbing back the ball. That gives him the proper distance from the golf ball. And he's going to turn into it. His hands will come around by his right shoulder, right ear. Shoulders stay level. Okay, not bad. Still a little bit behind it. So that shoulder's rocking. Shoulder's dropping down that left shoulder. Okay, take your two practice swings now. Try to brush that old grass. You gonna play in uh, high school? Probably. Okay, you gonna try to play in college? Hopefully. There you go, all right. Oh, still a little bit behind it, yep. Just dropped. Yeah, that's okay. Let's see some more practice swings. Let me see two more practice swings. I just try to turn through it. Yeah, right on around. So you want to sweep through the ball, come around into it, and that will transfer your weight to your right foot, your outside right foot. But if you come down to steep angle, see like that? So you're just dropping that left shoulder and we're going to take a big divot hit behind the ball. So arms and turn. You're a left-handed golfer. Your hands will come around. His hands will come around by his right shoulder, right ear. Ball off the middle, looks good. Oh, we still hit behind it. Yeah, okay. Now on my last show, I think I talked about the T drill, and a good drill that anyone can do that constantly top the ball, miss the ball, hit behind it, is take a golf tee and you put it about a half inch out of the ground. You can do this in your backyard at your house, okay? And you take your seven iron and you try to hit that tee about 20 times in a row, okay? Now let's say on the 15th swing, you missed the tee, you gotta start over because balance wasn't there. In other words, you didn't get the club head back to where the ball would be to get the ball in the air. So the tee drill is a very good drill to build that eye-hand coordination to get that ball in the air, okay? Now let's see a couple more practice swings. Shoulders stay level. All right, buddy, let's see a good shot here. Let's get you up on a little bit of grass, too. There you go.
absolutely perfect. And look at the follow through. See his hands came around by his right shoulder, right ear. Caden, you did pretty good, buddy. Thank you, excellent. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Now on this next segment of today's show, I have another junior golfer, Dylan. Hey, Dylan. Hi. How you doing, buddy? Good. Um, you're going to hit a hybrid today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so tell everybody how long you've been playing golf. I've been playing golf since I was three years old. Three years old, okay. And uh, how long have you been taking lessons off myself? Three years. Three years, okay. And Dylan's a great golfer. He's a great junior golfer. So you've got your hybrid, and uh, I'm going to have you set up, take a few practice swings. All right. And I'm going to critique Dylan's swing. Um, as he sets up, takes some practice swings, and we hit a few shots here. So he's got his hybrid. Now, he wants to play the ball forward in his stance, which is good. With your hybrids in your woods, driver, three wood, five wood, you play the ball forward in your stance off the inside left heel. If you're a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite of what I just said. Now, I can see his feet are shoulder width. For balance, his hands are under his chin, clubbing back the ball. That gives him the proper distance from the golf ball. And I've played a lot of golf with Dylan these past three years, and he's a pretty good junior golfer, one of the top-notch junior golfers here in Central Ohio. All right, you ready to hit some shots, buddy? Yep. Okay. So he's got his hybrid there, ball position forward in his stance, arms and turn. Absolutely perfect. You see that shoulder turn, the rotation, the weight transfer to his left side? That's what I like to see a lot of my adults do during their golf lessons. That was a good turn. His grip is perfect. Feet are shoulder width, ball position is there. Great shot. Great shot. Right knee up by left knee. Shoulders stayed level. See a practice swing, Dylan. And Dylan gets that club pretty much parallel towards target at the top of his backswing. That generates club head speed on the downswing, and when he turns his right knee up by his left knee, that's his weight transfer. He clears out his left hip, and that gives him some power into the shot, and he gets that ball out there. All right, good shot now. Absolutely perfect. Great form. Good job. Real good. So Dylan, you want to play in college? Yeah. Absolutely. You will. Guaranteed. Yeah. Let's see a practice swing. And on his practice swings, as you can see, he brushes the grass. He nicks the grass. That ball's sitting on the grass. Take your practice swings. Nick that old grass. If you ever take a practice swing, you miss the grass. Take another practice swing. Hit the grass. Great. Oh, a little thin on that one. How about that? So on the downswing, what Dylan did, he actually, well, I guess you're human after all. He pulled his left shoulder up, and that pulls the left arm up. It's like a little chain reaction. Pulls the club head up. You're going to top it or hit it thin. So we got to keep our shoulders level and rotate through the shot. Shoulders stay level and turn. So again, he's got a hybrid. With all your, your woods, your hybrids, your driver, three wood, five wood, play the ball forward in your stance, left heel if you're a right-handed golfer. Feet are shoulder width for balance. Distance from the golf ball, he's, he has his hands right under his chin. So the distance is there. Setup is perfect. Great shot, there you go. And his hands face around by his left shoulder, left ear. So he comes around and through the shot, not up and out of the shot. Yep. 
Setup is there, grip is there. Very good, picked it right off. Good weight transfer, right knee up by left knee. Left hip cleared out on the downswing. So Dylan, who's your favorite golfer? Jordan Spieth. Jordan Spieth, okay. Well, he's a good one to pick. Yeah. Oh, a little thin again. Yep. So that left shoulder pulled up. Yep. All right, we gotta keep those shoulders level now. Maybe a little quick on that one too. Yeah. Take you about three practice swings here. Right. Tempo was a little off. Arms and turn. We wanna come around and through the shot and his hands finish around by his left shoulder and left ear for a good weight transfer. Good shot now. Setup is there. Great shot, Dylan. Good weight transfer. All right. Now, how far do you hit this hybrid? Um, about 150. Usually. About 150? Yeah. Yeah. I know when we uh, play and practice here at Indian Springs Golf Club, uh, you use it on some of the holes and you hit it pretty good. Yeah. You know, you got the tight fairways, uh, beautiful course. Yeah. Setup is there. Great shot. The shoulder rotation is there. He turns into the shot. Right knee up by left knee. There's no wasted motion during his golf swing. How old are you, Dylan? 13. 13. Good swing. Perfect, picked it right off. Absolutely, and your dad's a pretty good golfer too, Dave. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Runs in the family. Yeah. Mom's a pretty good golfer too, I hear. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Arms and turn. Hands come around by your left shoulder, left ear. Wow, that is very good, very good. Stayed down through the ball, turned. All right, let's see some more shots here. And that's the key is balance. You don't see Dylan swaying back and forth. Uh, he's staying right there within himself. The arms come back, the arms come down. He rotates, hands face around by his left shoulder, left ear. Okay, now that went a little bit to the right. So what he did on the downswing was he leaned, he swayed a little bit. His left hip leaned out, that slightly opens the club face, and we block it or push it to the right. So that's the first time you've done that today. So on the downswing, you leaned or swayed versus turning, okay? Feet are shoulder width, grip is there, arms and turn. Very nice, very nice. All right. See, so hit one more for me. You have very good form, Dylan. Yeah. Arms and turn. Hands face around by your left shoulder, left ear. Absolutely perfect. The weight transfer was there. Good job. Hey, Dylan, you did fantastic. Very good. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Now on this last segment of today's show, I have a husband and wife team, Marty and Amy Cooper. And Amy, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Fine, thanks, okay. Now, how long have you been playing golf? About three years on and off. Three years on and off, okay. And what is your average score for nine holes? 
I'd guess around a 52. 52, well that's not bad, that's not bad at all. Okay, now you got a five wood here. When you've been hitting your five wood, have you been topping the ball, hitting behind the ball, slicing the ball? What have you been doing? Kind of going behind it. Hitting behind mm -hmm. it, so she must be hitting it fat or heavy. And Amy's a left-handed golfer, so what I'm about to say is just the opposite if you're a right-handed golfer. Okay? Okay. All right, now go ahead and take some practice swings for me. Okay. She's left-handed, and I want you to take some practice swings and play that ball, first of all, I'll move you about right here. Play the ball off the inside right heel. Again, she's a left-handed golfer. That's just the opposite if you're a right-handed golfer. So play it off the inside right heel. Okay, so play the ball a little bit more forward in your stance. So come right back this way a little bit more. There you go. So there's like an imaginary line that will come up to her inside right heel. Now take you some practice swings. Her feet should be shoulder width for balance. Let me see some full practice swings. And follow right on through. Okay, now I really want you to bring that club around by your right shoulder, right ear. Okay. Okay. So come on back with that club. Come on down and come right on around. Yep, now keep coming. Go ahead. Now stay right there. And you'll bring that club clear around here. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. We're going to get a good weight transfer so she picks up some more, more distance, hopefully. So I want you to finish around by your right shoulder, right ear. So her feet will be shoulder width. She's going to line the ball up off the inside right heel. Her hands will be under her chin, club heading back the ball. That's going to give her the proper distance from the golf ball. And it's arms and turn. Now I'm looking at her grip as she's taking these practice swings. And they're not bad. Her, her grip's not bad. It's pretty good. Okay. All right. Let's see. Hit some shots. We'll stay right in this area right here. Now line that ball up off the inside of your right foot. Hands are below her chin. Let's see what we got. Okay. No more practice swings. <laughs> Okay, so she is hitting behind the ball. So her left shoulder is dropping down. We gotta keep those shoulders more level. So first thing I would do is say, when you take your practice swings, Amy, turn through the shot, not drop that left shoulder, okay? Okay, okay not bad. Now she topped it so the right shoulder came up. So her shoulders are still rocking versus staying level and turning. All right, see another shot here. So just turn. So first adjustment, I would really work on turning through the shot. So when you follow through, get that club to come around by your right shoulder, her right shoulder, right ear. For a good weight transfer, she's gonna sweep through the shot. Second adjustment, you got that ball a little bit more towards the middle, so I'd play it off the inside right heel. So you wanna scoot back that way a little bit more. There you go, that's better. Grip looks good. Oh, she came up. Shoulder came up. Okay, now she hit behind it. So her left shoulder dropped on the downswing. So your shoulders are still rocking versus staying level. So we gotta get that turn now. Okay, let's try some more. And again, she's got a five wood with all the woods. And again, Amy is a left-handed golfer. She's gonna play the ball forward in her stance. Off her inside right heel. Arms and turn. Okay, ready now? Yes, no I'm more practice now. swings. See a good shot here, good shot. That was absolutely perfect. Okay, let me see it one more. Okay. Okay. So what I would do adjustment wise, I'd say work on turning in the shot, shoulder staying level, and ball position, right heel. One more shot here. Way to go, Amy, that was perfect. Good shot. Thank you. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Welcome back. On this last segment of today's show, we have Marty Cooper. Hey, Marty, how are you? Fine, and you? Good, fine, thanks. This is Amy's husband. And Marty, how long have you been playing golf? Oh, about 23 to 24 years. Okay, that's not, not bad. Okay, what have you been shooting for nine holes? Uh, probably about a 45 average. 45, that's, yeah. that's very good. Now, I understand you're going to hit a seven wood today, and in the old days, we used to call that a heaven wood. Uh, with this seven wood, what have you been doing ball flight-wise? Have you been... Topping the ball, slicing, hooking. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Right, left, top, <laughs> and so on. Sort yeah. of like army golf, okay? <laughs> yeah. All right, okay. Now, take you some practice swings there. Okay. 
And I understand you've been taking some lessons off of Rick Ramey. Yes, uh, that's correct. I've played with Rick before, great golfer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good golfer. I think the last time we played, I think he must have shot about a 67. Yeah. Okay, one more practice swing okay. and try to, try to nick that grass, okay? Because we want to nick the grass to get that club head up under the ball and get that ball out there, okay? okay. All right, let's see his shot here. See what we got. All right. So he's got his seven wood. The first thing I want to do is check ball position, left heel. So come back this way a little bit more, Marty. That way, okay. Grip looks real good. His feet are shoulder width for balance. Absolutely perfect. Hands came around by his left shoulder, left ear. Good weight transfer, all right? Thank you. See a practice swing before each shot? Okay. And his right knee will turn it by his left knee and that transfers his weight to his outside left foot. Hands face around by the left shoulder, left ear. And again, it's just the opposite if you're a left-handed golfer of what I'm saying. All right, Marty, good shot here. Setup is good. Okay, now he topped the ball. So on the downswing, his left shoulder was going up instead of over. We want to keep our shoulders level. If I pull my left shoulder up on the downswing, I'm going to pull my left arm up, pull my left hand up, pull the club up, and I'm going to top it or hit it low. So the golf swing is around and through. You want to come around with your hands finishing by your left shoulder, left ear. Okay? Okay. So you more or less came up and out of the shot. Yep. Okay. All right, let's see a practice swing here. All right. All right, good shot, Marty. Again, his grip is very good. Feet are shoulder width for balance. Ball position, left heel with all the woods. Pretty good, a little bit of a block, a little bit of a push to the right. So on the downswing, he leaned, and that slightly opens the club face, and you'll block it or push it to the right. So to get that corrected, you need to turn quicker on the downswing versus lean or sway or slide, okay? okay. All right, let's see another shot here. Good shot, little draw there. Low ball fly, but not bad, not bad at all. All right, okay. let's see another one. And again, the key to a good golf shot is balance. You gotta have balance and turn. Right knee up by left knee, hands finish around. Ooh, a little bit of a push out to the right. So he was moving a little bit on that downswing. Balance issue, okay? Stay still, arms and turn. Let's see another one. And I still play that ball a little bit more off your inside left heel. Okay. Okay? Feet are shoulder width and a good turn. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Wow. All right, one more. Okay. Now watch how his hands come around by his left shoulder, left ear. Okay, just a little heavy, right shoulder you know, dropped, so we gotta stay level and turn, okay? But Marty, you did fantastic. Thank you. You are more than welcome. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Well, that concludes today's show. I'd like to thank Indian Springs Golf Club in Mechanicsburg, Ohio, Dave Kell Chevrolet in Mechanicsburg, Ohio, and Copycat Printing in Portsmouth, Ohio. Join me next time on Golf Tips with Teaching Professional, Gary Bauer.